Hi, I'm Rebecca and welcome to my channel. This week's Top 5 Wednesday topic is favorite series endings. Top 5 Wednesday was created by Lainey from Ginger Eats Lainey. I'll leave a channel on the Goodreads page down below if you want to check it out. Coming in at number 5, I chose the Heartland series. And the last book is called Always There or in Danish Always Heartland. Um, and I'm only including the books that is actually in the series, not the extra books. Um, because I really think that this has just the perfect ending to the series. I loved the series growing up and I think I have all the books that are translated into Danish. It's about 23 books, I think. And I really, really enjoyed them. When I got the first book, I had to say that I was a bit skeptical, but I read it and I just flew through it and I just read all of them. Pretty quickly, I think, I just kind of started to buy them with my own money and then getting some for Christmas and getting some for my birthday so I really enjoyed this and I think that for the main series this was a great finish In second place I chose Narnia um, and The Last Battle by C.S. Lewis I also really enjoyed these books growing up and I just think that it has like kind of a very powerful ending to it all um, and yeah, I don't know how to explain it without spoiling it, so I'm just gonna let you read it and decide for yourself. But I really enjoyed these. Coming in at number three, I chose The Model Instrument City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. And I just think that this was such a good ending to the series. We found out so much and just... I don't know, I kind of cried a bit at the end. And it's okay, it's okay. And I just... I don't know, for me it was the perfect ending. Coming in at number two is also by Cassandra Clare. It is The Infernal Devices Clockwork Princess. And oh, the ending to this, the ending to this had tears streaming down my cheeks and I was just crying and I had to take like a few minutes break just to clear my eyes up so I could actually see what was on the pages. And the epilogue, oh, I, Oh, it was just all too much and it was so beautiful, so beautifully written and I just love the entire environment in this series. I would recommend this to everyone, just everyone, yeah. I love this series. It quickly became like one of my favorite series of all time. Coming in at number one, if you watched any of my previous videos this will not come as a surprise but Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. Do I need to say anything else than all was well? Like, just reading those three words just had me crying. This series is my favorite of all times and I, I don't know what it is. I can just keep on reading them and always discover something new and they just, yeah. If I have a sad day, I can just pick up a Harry Potter book and instantly feel more happy and that's just a great series that can do that. Just make you more happy just thinking about it. And yeah, if anyone watches this and haven't read the Harry Potter books, what are you waiting for? Just please read them. They are amazing. And yeah, recommending these to everyone. I don't even think I have to recommend them to anyone anymore because everyone I know already knows that I love them and that they should read them. And Fun story, there was someone in my class who hadn't read any Harry Potter books or seen any Harry Potter movies because they just didn't appeal to her. So I made an agreement with her that she had to have seen all the movies before we were out of school. Um, and she actually did it. She watched them all with her boyfriend and she actually really enjoyed them. So yeah, even though she thought she wouldn't, but she just kind of agreed to it for my sake because I kind of kept pushing her to, to watch them, so yeah. Even though you may not think you'll enjoy them, you probably will. And I'm actually wearing a Harry Potter dress right now. Look! It is the Deathly Hello symbol. That was my top 5 series endings. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.